1973, a movie version of the Andrew Lloyd Webber, Tim Rice rock opera, Jesus Christ Superstar, hit the screen and told the story of the arrival of Jesus and his disciples in Jerusalem, ending with his crucifixion. The film became the highest grossing musical in the U.S. and Canada that year. It remains a classic, especially leading up to Easter Sunday. Starring in the movie version as Jesus was Ted Neely, who's now part of this new documentary, Superstars Extended Version, that's all about the making of the original movie. And Ted Neely joins us on the Zoom right now. Good morning, my friend. How are you? Good morning. Good to see you. It's great to and see. And I think that I need to say something like happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Dean. Thank happy you. birthday to you. I've ah. never had Jesus sing me happy birthday before. That's <laughs> <laughs> something. Thank you, Ted. That's very nice of you. So uh, let's just go back a year because I remember talking to you right when the pandemic was starting. Yeah. Uh, you were you, you were touring, still playing Jesus in a, a road version, touring version of Jesus Christ Superstar, and then everything shut down, right? Yes, yes, we were having such a great time, but uh, they just said, hey, you're gonna have to get out of here because everybody is gonna be sick. <laughs> so, uh, so what happened? I mean, have you just been uh, you know, down for the whole year as so many actors and singers uh, oh, yeah, essentially but, just been out of work frankly, for a year? Uh, quite honestly, that's how we were able to do this uh, extended version of Superstars, because we had the actual time to put it all together. So I'm very thankful for that. Very, very thankful. And the great thing about it is we have so many wonderful photographs taken by David James, the photographer on set in Israel in 1972. And uh, that's what it's based upon, because it's all behind the scenes, between the scenes. When we were sitting there talking with interviews and all that, it's personal absolute personal things for everybody who's in the film and Norman Jewison is right there in the middle of it with us all. Yeah that's what uh, I wanted to learn about of you know what it is that we see in this new documentary it's called Superstars Extended Version uh, that we we may not have seen before I mean there have been other uh, making ofs on Jesus Christ Superstar what what do we get new in this one what are some things that we learn? The new things in this is we also have a sequence of our anniversary that we did in New York a few years back, with all of us together, including Norman Jewis, and except for the late Carl Anderson, he had passed away at the time. And there's there's interviews with everybody who was there. There are moments when we're singing and laughing with each other and being crazy, and then talking about the magnificent experience that we had while we were in Israel. And we've all stayed with that ever since. We've not forgotten a moment, and the relationships are just absolutely wonderful and it's it's a it's a personal look at everybody and how we were having a great time doing what we were doing in Israel now what do you remember most Ted from being in Israel uh, back then this is the early 70s uh, you know yeah, an extremely the tumultuous was, time there go ahead I really think the strangest thing about it was that they were just at the end of the uh, Six-Day War, and uh, it was supposed to be finished, but they were still bombing the borders all around us. So that's the reason that the film has the tanks and jets in it, because that was happening all the time while we were there shooting the film. And every one of us, no matter where we were, no matter what scene we were shooting, we felt we were walking in some historical footsteps the whole time we were there. And, and whether we were at the Dead Sea, whether we were shooting things in the, the, the ruins of Herod the Great's palace, all that, it was just, we had, we were surrounded by the spirituality, the history of what we were making a film about. Yeah, very moving uh, for sure. Now, people can see this documentary. Uh, Tubi is going to be running a, a special free streaming Easter weekend that will start April 2nd and run through the 5th. And then Vimeo will have the documentary and video on demand rental for the entire month of April. And then on August the 10th, which is the 48th anniversary of the movie, it's going to be released on multiple streaming channels on Blu-ray and on uh, DVD. So uh, are you planning on getting back on the road and getting back in another production, Ted, sometime soon? Absolutely. Uh, the, the last several years, I've been most of the time in Europe. Uh, in a, a Roman production of Superstar. They do it all in English. It has been absolutely incredible.
basketball off and on for five and a half years over there. And then when we're not actually there doing that or here doing a tour, I'm out doing a tour of screenings of Jesus Christ Superstar in the movie houses. And it's just absolutely wonderful to meet people face to face and thank them for their continuing support of this film. I want you to come to Chicago. I miss seeing you, and uh, congratulations on this documentary, Superstars, the extended version. Here's all the information up on the screen. Uh, Ted Neely, uh, who started in the so movie. Thank you so much, Dean. It's great to see you, pal. Thank you so much.